As part of today's video on advanced HVAC control tips, I'd like to demonstrate how to program the HVAC industry specific Fireman's Override feature, standard within AVP's HVAC portfolio. This feature is typically used within fan applications that require a special operating mode to assist with fire and smoke control. The override mode in ACH580 and ACH480 drive allows the drive to control the speed and direction of a motor at an adjustable, predefined or PID controlled uh, speed um, to assist uh, a build smoke control system during evacuation and firefighting once a fire occurs, increasing safety of the occupants within the building and minimising the damage and restoration costs. Uh, once a signal is received to the drive in fire condition, the drive enters an override mode and the drive will ignore all other irrelevant inputs, whether digital, um, analog or serial communication signals, as well as commands from the drive's keypad. The drive cannot exit the override mode until the fire condition signal is reset or by removing power from the drive. Field bus comms can be used to program the drive parameters during normal operation, but cannot control the drive or edit the drive parameters when the override mode is activated. During override operation, the drive will be able to control its digital, analog and relay outputs in order to communicate the status of the firefighter's control system uh, to the station and BMS. Uh, when no longer uh, in override mode, the drive and the system will return to its uh, operating state before override mode is active, was activated. <clears throat> so here we have the ACH580 HVAC drive and I'll demonstrate how to program the drive to utilise the fireman's override feature. First and foremost, we need to go into the menu and we need to find primary settings and then we need to scroll down until we find the override menu. At this moment in time, override mode is disabled. So we have got three uh, options for the override mode. We've got We've got normal, and that follows the programmed uh, number of fault resets when in, uh, whilst in override mode. We have critical, which allows for infinitive number of fault resets. Uh, and this option will select for today's purposes. And we also have disabled, which indicates that the override is not being used. So as I say, for today's purposes, we'll select critical. And then we need to select um, the menu which uh, gives a designated input to activate the override mode. Today, we'll use digital input six high. And it is worth noting when activating override mode this also initiates a start command, so there's no need for a secondary start command whilst in override mode. So of course, if we select digital input six, and next we have our reference from, uh, you can configure the drive uh, to run in a multiple different uh, modes uh, by selecting the reference for override uh, frequency within refer the reference from the menu. So we have constant frequencies. Uh, this option allows you to select multiple constant frequencies based on multiple digital inputs. The next one down on the list is analog input one and two directly. Um, this is a speed reference in override mode via the analog input. The next on the list is override frequency. Uh, this commands the drive frequency to a single pre-programmed uh, value. And this is the option that we'll be selecting uh, for today's demonstration. 
We also have floating point. Now this uses two uh, predefined inputs to increase or decrease the drive frequency. Um, initial values can be configured uh, as well as minimum and maximum values and ramp times. We also have force stop. This option stops the drive following the defined stop mode. And we also have PID set one. Uh, this option controls the drive frequency using the output value of the process PID controller for PID parameter set one. So, as I've mentioned earlier, for today's purposes, we're going to be using override frequency. Next is override frequency. For today's demonstration purposes, we'll set the frequency at, um, let's say, 30 hertz. This is the fixed uh, speed the drive will run the motor at once DI6 is enabled and override mode is activated. So if we change that to 30 hertz, save. Next is the direction. So we've got two options within this menu. Sorry, we've got more than two options. But we've also we've got forward and reverse, which are most commonly used. Um, for today's purposes, we're going to select forward. So this is the direction of the motor. So when we are happy with the parameters set for the override mode, we can navigate back to the home screen. We'll switch to auto mode and control the speed of the motor via the analog input one. Once the motor is running, we can enable digital input six. This is the designated single input to activate override mode. The override active message will appear on the screen and the motor will run at the override frequency selected, which is 30 hertz. The drive will ignore all commands start, stop and speed reference, ignoring all commands from the control panel also. For example, hand, hand off and auto. And any other parameter change that would affect override mode is also ignored. Only when the designated input for override is disabled will the drive return to its original program mode of operation. And note that if the, if the drive is in hand mode before the override is activated, the drive returns to the off mode after the override is deactivated. Thank you for watching and please join us again for our advanced HVAC control tips videos.